from a string it's versatility. I play in a lot of different projects and I play a lot of different styles of music including rock, funk, jazz, R&B, metal. I do that within any given week and sometimes even within a single night. Basically you have four techniques when you're playing funk. You can slap, you can double thumb, you can basically palm mute, Or you can just do straight old finger funk. Another advanced technique that's pretty popular right now is the open hammer pluck technique that Victor Wooten really popularized. So in this next example, I'm going to play the changes to Sinister Minister, but using the open hammer pluck technique. determine that boomers give me the versatility that I really need from a string, that's pretty much only half the battle. Then you need to figure out what gauge of string you really want to use. I personally use medium gauge strings. What's really important to me is making sure I get that beefy low end foundational frequency, yet I can also execute more advanced techniques. And some of those advanced techniques might be tapping, they might be open hammer pluck, and um, with a medium gauge string, I'm not gonna sacrifice any of the low end that I'm gonna need for maybe the rock or the funk. So let's take a look at um, this tapping example from a band called Flametal that I play. <laughs> I have flat wounds here on my uh, Music Man 79, and I've got Super Steels on the NYC5 Sadowski back there. But I put boomers on my main axe because sometimes I don't always feel like bringing three basses, and I want a bass that can really carry versatility without compromising my tone. The thing I also love about boomers is that you get that really fundamental frequency that provides the beefy low end that you're going to want in a rock band. And as a bass player, in my opinion, that should be your number one priority is providing low end. The last thing that I really love about boomers is that they are balanced, so they have a little sparkle in the high end. It's not going to be as much as, say, super steels, which on the GHS tone spectrum are really bright, but they're right smack dab in the middle, so you're going to get a balanced sound with a little bit of sparkle that's going to cut through, yet you're still not sacrificing that low end. So that's why I love boomers for rock and roll. Let's check out a little bit of uh, the Who's Pinball Wizard here. So as you can see, we've covered your basic rock riff, we've covered a couple different techniques in, in the funk genre, um, slapping, double thumbing, and we've also covered a couple more advanced techniques like tapping and uh, open hammer pluck. If you're the kind of bass player that finds yourself playing a lot of different genres, I highly suggest checking out the boomers. All right, love and lowin'.